Hi, I'm Jody, and I'm here today with Nadia and Miriam, and we're gonna make a traditional Egyptian dish called molachata. Yeah, yeah, oh, molachia. Molachia. Yeah, molachia. Okay, so Nadia, let's get started. Okay. What are we gonna do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is fry these two chickens right here. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? Well, they've browned a little bit, and what I'm going to do now is just put the water in cup to cover the chickens. So la 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 la. I'm gonna wait for it to boil so I can make a broth, but in the meantime, I need to add two things to this broth. I need to add an onion and some salt. I usually use red onions in the broth itself because there's, it has a bit of a sweeter taste. Uh-oh, the kids were playing with oh, yes. this. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Were you used to eating molhea at home? I was, but I didn't love it. But Nadia introduced me to a sauce, this red sauce, that now has made it my absolute, like one of my favorite dishes. And then I found out that my mother knew about this red sauce, but never made it. And I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, it's a total winner. How do you make the famous red sauce? Okay. The famous red sauce um, begins like this. You take a handful of garlic, a handful of salt, and then I'm going to begin to pulverize it with this part, which I think is called the pestle, but I could be wrong. Okay. It's funny, my mom had one made of brass, and it used to be my grandmother's. And I was thinking about it on my way here today, and I would love to have that one because now, when you are mashing things with a brass handle in a brass base, you feel like, like nobody's business. I mean, <laughs> you feel good, you, you pulverize it to death, you know? <laughs> now, I'm going to take a handful of cumin, mix it with the garlic into a dry paste. Now I'm going to add the, the paste. So I see you have a, uh, some tomatoes here. What are you going to use them for? I'm going to add the tomato to the paste. Okay. Um, it will make that sound of something, you know, some liquid hitting fried food. So you'll hear the sound and you want to hear that sound. So Nadia, what's next? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did with the cumin and the garlic. I'm going to add ground coriander seed. And once again, it's about the smell permeating the room. This I've really kept back. I've been keeping a secret. In every family, there is a curse they put on the molokheya. They that. say something under their breath and they go, <gasps> Now my mother never told me what she said under her breath, so I just make things up. Okay, well, you never told me. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but <laughs> people make things up. But the important thing is to go, <gasps> So what kind of things do you say under your breath? I say, keep the evil eye away and make our molokheya good today. Have a kiss. Can I have a kiss? So, how do the two of you know each other? Uh, I met Miriam through her brother Ahmed, and uh, everybody in her family. I consider them my intentional family. This is the family I would have chosen if I could have chosen any family. I actually choose this uh, out of desire. So, this is uh, so. Since then, we're like uh, we're like sisters. Um, uh, conspirators and, and pals, basically. I'm gonna put a posting on Craigslist. I'm looking for an intentional family. Some nice Jewish family will have me. That would be lovely. <laughs> and I'll interview people, and then I can choose whoever I want. Exactly. All right, cool. I think it happens, it's kismet. Yeah. It I happens like that. this, you know? Now, all that's left to do for the broth <laughs> is to put the molokheya in. So what is molokheya? Well, molokheya is really a leaf of a particular plant, but it's also quite mucousy. That is the part that Miriam was calling slimy earlier. Gooey. Gooey, oopsie. But don't be put off because it tastes delicious, okay? Forget slimy. Perfect.
and we're just going to do this and bon appetit here guys mm. it's delicious no fantastic. it is a bit gooey i'll admit but it's good i could get used to this kind of gooey okra texture and it certainly feels healthful and nourishing even though it has an entire stick of butter in it. Well, it doesn't really have an entire <laughs> stick. But thank you so much. It was really nice having you. you here. I love mm. learning how to make it. So thanks, mm. Nadia. Thanks, Miriam. No thank you for coming. Thank you, my darling. Hey, my little Janos. Did you want a little bit more? <laughs>